Greetings, brothers and sisters. I come to you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is Wednesday, the 14th of December, and the time is 5 minutes to 10 p.m. Uh, it is the 20th day of Kislev, the year 5783. Uh, right, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, I wanted to go to sleep, but the Lord has laid something on my heart. Uh, I just want to read you an opening verse, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. Uh, as printed in my uh, journal. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. So when we are weak, then we are strong through the grace of our Christ, of, our G of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me hallelujah amen ephesians 6 verse 12 my favorite favorite verse this is my default setting for forgiveness and i and 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 not to judge people for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places brothers and sisters this is actually a continuation of that teaching before right um i want to bring you this powerful powerful teaching that the lord ministered to me about judging others matthew 7 judge not that ye be not judged the lord says that if we don't if if we don't judge he won't judge us we have no right. He's the only judge. Sorry, he's the only judge. We have no right to judge others. He will judge them accordingly, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Brothers and sisters, listen to this. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. There's it. If you judge, you will be judged. You reap what you sow. This is principles of heaven, the kingdom of heaven. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. Principles of, of heaven. Principles in, of, of the kingdom of heaven. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in, in thy brother's eye? So why are you watching what's in someone else's eye? But considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye. Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote of thine eye, the beam, and behold, the beam is in thine own eye. <clears throat> thou hypocrite! First cast out the beam of the, out of thine own eye, and then cast thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls, before swine be careful be aware and discern where you are casting the word it might fall on dead soil Mo um, that um, parable of the sower mark chapter 4 neither cast your pe your pearls before swine lest they trample them under their feet the words are precious brothers and sisters discern which where you cast your words of wisdom and turn again and rend you. Ask and it shall be given you. In the previous teaching, I said, I ask the Lord for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. I ask for the discerning of spirits when I'm sitting listening to a new pastor. Lord, reveal what is in this person's heart. Because I feel either I feel comfortable or I feel uncomfortable as soon as that visiting or new pastor starts speaking. This chapter reveals everything for you. Listen to this. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth. The gifts are freely to be received. And ye will give. Ask, brothers and sisters, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Or what is, or what man is there of you, 
whom if his son ask bread will give him a stone. What this verse is saying is, if I ask, if your son asks for bread, will you give him a poison, for example? We will give him food. Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent, something deadly, poison? If he then being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, even evil people give Bless their children and love their children and give good gifts to their own seed, their own kind, their own children, their own seed. How much more shall your Father which is in heaven give you good things to them that ask him? Question mark. Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. This is the verse that led me to this chapter. 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, that leadeth to destruction, to hell. The, the path to hell is wide, and many there be which go in there at, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, to heaven. Narrow is the pathway to heaven, and few there be that find it. Brothers and sisters, when we in Cape Town, we have this, we have uh, the Table Mountain, and we have Lion's Head, and there's a gap between the two. Now, when it is windy, and you're approaching, and you're facing this, this tunnel, like tunnel vision, the wind is so fast, when it's windy, the wind is so fast, it's blowing towards you. But when you on when you in the city, the wind is different. But as soon as you approach a certain path in that path, that narrow path, that wind speeds up. Now that is reminds me of how heaven the narrow is the gate. You will get pushed through into this narrow gate and you will move fast and move quickly because you're on the right path to God. It is easy, so he will push you through. But the wide gates, you will get bombarded from every other way. And that is the pathway to destruction to hell. Beware of false prophets. This is now harking to the previous teaching about discerning the pastor, angel trans um, Satan transforming him into an angel of light. Beware of false prophets. Yanuka Rav Shlomo which cometh to you in sheep's clothing, but inward, inwardly they are ravenous wolves. Look how this is tying in with that previous teaching. And this is only one chapter, Matthew 7. Ye shall know them by their fruits, do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles. You know, brothers and sisters, where you can tell someone by his family, you can tell them, you can tell the fruit. A, a healthy tree will produce healthy fruit. A sick tree will produce uh, 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 sick or unhealthy fruit. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, there is it, but the corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. There we go. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire, into the lake of fire. Wherefore, by the fruits ye shall know them. I can tell someone's whole family, the health of the family, and whether they are of of a good, um, of a good, uh, how do you say, of a good tree, a healthy tree. You can tell the the the, the whether they the, the the head of the family sitting in the word, and you can see it trickle down through the family. Pastors' children are always under attack. It's not necessarily saying where you see a pastor with bad fruit. But what it is saying that the devil is after the pastor's children. Hallelujah.